Well, hi there. Sitting here with my beautiful uh, old Fisher piano. That is a family heirloom. It was given to mom when she was uh, a young girl. And uh, anyway, the other day I was tuning it slightly and inev inevitably after all these years, I broke a string. And it's right here, kind of in the alto area, you might say. So anyway, with the help of YouTube, I figured out the mechanics a little deeper and how to go about uh, changing the string. Because I'm thinking, how am I gonna get to it with all of these mechanism here? So anyway, I'm pleased to say I have ordered a string and uh, which is right here off of eBay. Okay, the first step is to remove the action, which is this entire mechanism here. And uh, I found it very intimidating when I used to look inside here and to understand how it all works, but it's great to understand it now. So I've removed the threaded bolts, if you will, from these four posts here. And this thing is gonna pivot forward and then I'll be able to lift it right out. There we go. There's the broken string. So I'm just gonna lift it straight out. There we go. Wow, look at that. That's pretty cool, isn't it? <laughs> so, I'm gonna sit this down here. And now I have access to all the, the strings properly. Okay, well, I wanna show you a close up here of the culprit string here, let's see. Okay. So it's this one right here. And I learned Two of these pins handle one piece of string handling two different keys or two different notes. So it goes down and wraps around one of these little pins and back up, protected by felt. All right, so I have unhooked the string from one one of the pegs, pins, pegs, and uh, here's, incidentally, it's threaded, but the threads are extremely fine. You can barely see it, just enough to grip into the wood. So, I'll go carefully because of all this felt. the string. I don't know how old this piano is exactly, but close to 100 years old. Okay, got that string out. And here is my string that I fed out the section that I need. I'm going to measure the length that I need. So I'm going to start, <clears throat> go up to the pin, and they said give you about three or four fingers extra length there. Right there. That looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and put a bend in it with my pliers here for making round, round bends. So having never done this before, of course, I'm not aware of all the little tricks of the trade.
Okay, I did not video this, but I learned an important trick and I watched uh, on YouTube how they had a tool to pre-coil the wire and then push it on and slip the end into it. But anyway, when the pin was out and I held on to it like this and I was able to feed the wire through and wrap it around about four times. Then put the pin in, feed the wire through one end that was straight slipped the coil on and that made a huge difference okay all right well i got the string put on there after a lot of challenging moments just simply not knowing the tricks behind it uh, i think it took me 30, 30 minutes to get it on there and it's not a clean job but it's on there and it seems to be holding right now until i keep tuning it so i'm going to put the action back on and uh, play a tune. All right, my lovely assistant here, Coco Vanna White. Right, just hold it there. We're gonna go very slowly once again. We've learned from trial Let's and effort. We're gonna, in, right? Right, we're gonna tilt it back yes. gently. It's gonna go over that piece of wood. Good, good, good. And it's pretty much straight down. There's a little pin. You're almost on it. It's gonna go back a little further. I don't see the pin here. Why am I not seeing the pin? Uh, mission accomplished. I learned a lot in replacing two strings, which is ultimately four notes. there touch it I don't think so so it's not perfect but it's close enough all right it's been fun and I'm pleased for for, th for, for 13 dollars I've been able to solve my old piano string problem Hey mom. Hi. Hi. Uh, we're look. We're sitting here at the old piano that uh, has been in the family since 1950. 
seven, about 1957, 58. Mm -hmm. This was mom's piano and uh, lots of relatives have sat down at it, playing it and um, pictures taken around it. So it's been with me since 2004 after it remained in uh, my grandparents' home and then they passed and then in 2004 I got it. So we're just sitting here looking at this beautiful Fisher piano here. We got the front off so we can see can you just play a little something there, Mom? We just watch here. Anything you can pick out. Now I put you on the spot. Right? Yeah. This is a family heirloom. I would never get rid of this piano and uh, great to have it.